Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about double integrals. So now I will show you the answer. We need to use about polar coordinates. So we have s equals to r cosine theta. and y is equal to r sine theta the a we need to change into r the r the theta now i need to wrap the function in here So this is a small circle and that's about this one and the big circle that's about this one This is about y. This is about s. Between the lines, y is go to zero. That's about this one. And y is equal to s. That should be about this one. The area we need to concentrate. That's the about this one. Now. We have s square plus y square is equal to number one. So the radius of this one is about the square root of number one. Square is about number one. The radius of this one just like the square root of number four. Or maybe the square root of two to the power of two is about so the radius we need to concentrate in here from 1 to 2 now from the point in here to this line y is go to s is about b over 4 because y equal to s divide 2 circle in here in the half from this boy to here is about b over 2 or half of b over 2 that's about b over 4 and now we put everything in this double intervals we have the r in here so that's it from number 1 to number 2 about y that's about all side theta about s that's about all cosine theta about d theta we will put about from 0 to b over 4 and now we need to calculate this one r and r we simplify now this one we have r so You will go about r square over 2 and we have the boundary from 1 to 2 d theta so we put number one number two in here and number one in here
So we have 2 square over 2 minus 1 square over 2. You will go about 3 over 2. And this one, we got about negative 3 over 2 ln of the absolute value of cosine theta. And we have the boundary from 0 to b over 4. So we put this one going here and this one going here. And we got the final answer. That's it, the full answer.